and middle-aged guy here. Um, sorry about the light behind me. So anyways, uh, today we're going to be doing um, some holster. I bought a holster. I bought a, a Blackhawk Omnivore um, holster system. And it comes with a uh, belt loop attachment. And it also comes with this cool little paddle attachment. Um, the reason I like this is because all you do now, just for anybody out there, weapon is secured. All right, it's empty. Um, so we're gonna just empty, empty, empty. Okay. So it's got this little block here, this little locking mechanism, or it's a block actually you put on a rail of your gun. Some some of these take flashlights. Anyways, this holster says it fits over 150 different guns, um, regardless of brand. Um, the gun just simply slides in. You hit the click and it's in there. It's not going anywhere. The only way to release it is there's a thumb attachment right there. Push the thumb attachment in, pull the gun out. So um, the reason for this purchase was actually um, I wanted to um, take it with me uh, to when I go hunting for the hogs. Because as you know, if you go out, if you go out hunting, um, you end up getting, yeah, you know, we have a hog issue basically and um with that being said it's better to have a sidearm with you just in case something doesn't go as planned and it's happened to me before so usually i end up taking um something with me um on a, on my belt for example uh the bell holster that came with this gun and this is a springfield xdm 40 caliber it's a nice gun i've had it for about man, almost 10 years it's great great dependable and very dependable great sidearm anyways um on the holster it came with, it's garbage. It doesn't hold in tight. Even if I tighten it, crank down on the little screws on it, nothing holds in the way it's supposed to. So um, I've tried bell holsters, put it on my belt. The thing is, when you sit down, like if I'm going hunting, you sit down in a blind somewhere, um, it gets in the way. If you're walking, it gets in the way. And you got to be able to effectively, um, and I'm sorry, my um, mood's getting a little crazy here. You got to be able to effectively draw that weapon uh, really quick if you need to. So what I decided ultimately was to mount this on my backpack that I carry with me. Um, this is my hunting backpack. Um, the reason I like it, it's because this one here is made by um, Fieldline, uh, Fieldline Pro Series, I believe. Um, my awesome sister-in-law got it for me at Walmart when they were clearing them out. I think it was like eight bucks, but it's awesome. This thing's got a, a spotter in it to carry your bow. Or carry a rifle. It's also got a um, spot in it for a bladder, H2O bladder, which I use a lot. Accessory pouches everywhere. It's got a strap that goes across your chest to keep it snug, and it's got a, a harness that goes around your waist to keep that backpack snug to your body so it doesn't droop or, or get or you know sag or give you any issues. So I decided ultimately, since I'm a left, I'm gonna put the whole. I wanted to get something I could put right here, so it would be out of the way. And um, originally, I wanted to use a belt version of this, but the straps are just too wide. So I decided I'm going to use their paddle attachment, which is, I've already started hooking up right here. It's literally three screws and the third one goes right there. Um, once you slide the paddle on, and I'll, and I'll show you the install in a minute, there's these little tabs that are just to, to the width. So I'll be able to slide this on the way I want it to and then put the tabs in and tighten it down so it won't be able to move up and down. And there's some buckles in the way that'll keep this from sliding up and down anyways. So it'll be able to um, hold on to my backpack where, where I'm going to want it, which is about right here. And then um, when I get to my blind or get to where I'm at, I can actually take it off. And if I'm gonna leave the backpack behind, I can take the paddle off and put it on uh, my pants and take it with me that way. So give me a minute here and I'll get set up and we'll get right back to that install and show you how it goes. All right, so the way this works is there's three screws, one, two, and three. And they screw onto this holster, the holster itself to the back of it. Once you do that, you'll slide this on the belt or the strap, my backpack strap. And then I'll get these two little clips here and they basically slide in here to whatever size you need. And once you get them where you need them, you use a screwdriver or dime or quarter or whatever, and you'll turn them and they'll latch onto the straps to keep it nice and tight. Now, this is gonna go here for me. I'm just gonna go like that, right? And so I've already tried it on and measured it and everything. So this is gonna be hitting right at this buckle right here. So it's not gonna be able to go any further down. But um, on the upside, you'll see the adjustment tabs right there. I'll be able to lock those into the width of these straps and I'll get that situated in one second. So as you can see, I put the I put both tabs in, uh, twisted them, 
You can see, let me get a good look back. You see them right there? So they kind of go in long ways and they twist and they lock into place. So now we're here. Tab should be secured. It's gonna do a dry fit with this thing and um, I'll get right back to you to show what it looks like when it's on. So as you can see, the final fit is where I want it. Like I said, this backpack's got a lot of stuff to it. So it's here, it's locked into place. It's not going anywhere. If I gotta take it off, I can I can undo it from the paddle, put it on my pants or holster. And if I gotta draw the weapon, it's here for me to pull, draw. So I draw back into place. And the upside about this is you can't get your finger in the trigger to pull the trigger. You know, so there's not gonna be anything slipping in there doing that for me. And this, besides, it's got a bunch of passive anyway. It's got a safety back here. It's got a safety on the trigger. So it getting snagged and going off really is, I'm not gonna say never, but it's gonna be slim. Chances are something that'll happen. But this is exactly what I wanted. So I like it. I'm very comfortable with it. Uh, the true test will come in a couple of weeks when I go back out to the property and um, give it a dry run there. And we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, this is exactly what I needed, and this is exactly what I wanted. This is a fit I wanted for this holster. And let me zoom in real quick and focus on about that. Keep moving around too much. But yeah, like I said, it's right here. It's convenient. It's out of the way. It's no longer down here where it gets snagged when I'm walking through stuff and for all the brush over there and stuff that we walk through. And the stuff, even trying to sit in a chair, um, the gun tends to stick on your side and or it hit the edge or it'll do something and it's just not convenient. So at least this way, I can take it off of here, put it in my pants or set it down where I'm at because I do have a big enough chair that I got a little table on it and stuff and keep it out of the way. And when, and when I take it with me, I can actually just get this, take the paddle off, put it on my belt and go and uh, check on the animal um, that I've harvested. So that, that's the goal. But like I said, it's very, very handy. It's out of the way. It's not really causing me any issues and it's here and it's sturdy. See, it doesn't want to, it doesn't come out. So I don't have to worry about dropping it. Um, for FYI, for um, other reasons, I've dropped the other one before just because it got snagged on something and it was just one of the hip holsters and it's just, it would just slide off and it was always an issue. And I've tried everything. I've tried these. Um, and of course I gotta practice with it to make sure I got the, you know, be able to take it out when I need it. But you need to push it in a little bit. So out, you're good. Let's just practice. Um, but anyways, I got one of these because I've tried everything. I've tried the hip holsters to know work. They don't work. Um, everything else, the guns out of, out of, um, out of the way where it's not, it's no longer convenient. You know, it doesn't serve its purpose. Um, I've tried the drop leg holsters and for any of y'all that have worn those, I have a couple, um, and I can tell you this about them, as as fun as they are, as, excuse my handy work there, <laughs> as fun as they are and everything else, um, they tend to kind of pull down on your pants. God damn it, they keep making your pants sag, and they're uncomfortable. They slide down your leg. Um, it, it's just one of those things that never just worked out for me, you know. So this seems to be the best best um, use of, uh, of a holster for me in this situation, and, I, and I'm really happy with it. Like I said, I also got, it also comes with a bell holster and it's got the same type of tabs or similar tabs that'll go in, lock around the belt and kind of give it a snug fit so it doesn't shift and slide around on you all the time. But yeah, uh, that's my review for the uh, Black Hawk Omnivore holster. It also comes with some cool stickers that um, apparently I misplaced because I can't find them now. But yeah, and I'm very happy with this. Um, now when you buy this, it'll come with the paddle, it'll come with the uh, bell holster, it'll come with two of these little blocks um, so if you have a second gun or something, um, you can put it on there. Because I'm going to tell you like this. It says it fits up to 150 guns. And all the research I've done suggested it fits over 150 guns. So it's, you know, it's perfect. Um, originally, like I said, I wanted a backpack holster. They have a specific holster made for backpacks that I saw online. I really, really wanted it. But, man, I think they're like they're over $100. And I just didn't see a reason to paint over 100 bucks in molded plastic um, for something that could be... I want to say modified, but used in a different, well, yeah, I don't even modify anything. I just use it. I just used it. It's on the strap like a belt would be. So it's a very similar usage of it. But um, yeah, I um, appreciate y'all tuning in on that. Um, this is a middle-aged guy. I'm signing out. And with everything, y'all be careful. Um, hunting season is wrapping up already for the year. So we're just going back really just to get feeders up and going and be able to head back there um, for next year. So we're, we're pretty much entering a maintenance phase of of everything there at Mutt Ranch, which means 
maintenance with the hogs and maintenance with other um, varmints that are out there. Mostly hogs, javelina, stuff like that. Trying to keep them away from the feeder um, to allow the uh, access whitetail and the um, odd dads that we have running around to come and feed. So yeah, we're done. What's up, Moo Moo? And we're heading out. And Moo Moo also says, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, she does. Alright guys, this is the Middle East guy and Moodlicious signing off.